Oh, what's going on everybody, man? I am freaking super excited for today's video because I am actually filming, man, the greatest team in the history of the NBA. My Cleveland Cavaliers, man. Yes, in case you didn't already know, I am a massive Cavaliers fan. Before some of you start saying, be like, bro, are you a bandwagoner? Did you jump on the LeBron train? No, I didn't, man. I started following the Cavaliers back in 2002, the year before LeBron was drafted, including, you know, some actual big names, believe it or not. Like, we had Carlos Boozy, we had Ricky Davis, Zadrina Silgauskas was playing for us at the time, although he was kind of injured. He wasn't really playing until LeBron played in his rookie season. But anyways, we're going to get into the actual all-time lineup for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Before I actually show you the team, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. A little bit of a plug for my channel, but... Hey, that's what we need to do. As we're going to go all the way to the, over the Cavaliers, and this is my all-time Cleveland Cavaliers team for 2K19. We're going to go through a few key positions, first of all, because some of you are probably wondering, huh? So I'm going to go through it. Man, uh, our starting lineup is just looking hella juiced right now. I did end up buying this Galaxy Open JR Smith for about 34,000 MT. Like, I think that's a massive snipe right there. Arguably, greatest player to play for the Cleveland Cavaliers, man, LeBron James. We have his limited edition. I don't know why I said arguably as well. Like, he's hands down going to go down as the greatest. We have Kyrie Irving as our starting point guard. We've got Shaquille O'Neal as our center. Some of you might have forgotten, he did play a season for the Cavaliers. We also picked up his Galaxy Open, Sean Kemp as well, who's probably gone down as our second greatest power forward behind Kevin Love, who's on our bench. And then we've also added these three cards. Now, this is probably where some of you are going to say, bro, they don't even play for the Cleveland Cavaliers, especially Andrew Wiggins, who got traded. He didn't get drafted by the Cavaliers, and if he ended up playing for the Cavaliers, he would have been included. So I'm just going to throw him into the lineup anyway. And then we also have this uh, Pink Diamond Dwayne Wade and this Galaxy Opal Derek Rose. Rose and Dwayne Wade did play probably about half the season for the Cavaliers. Look, if they ended up playing the entire season, they could have been an absolutely generous addition to that lineup which is why i decided to include him then we also had this galaxy Opal antoine jamison right he did get traded from washington to the cleveland cavaliers to try and actually win a ring for the king at the time didn't really pan out that way and then we've got some old school plays we've got this pink diamond mark price the julian Silgauskas, and brad doatry which is quite nice because we do have that dynamic duo lineup so uh we're gonna see how this lineup goes in my team unlimited Rocking to Ron Lou as our coach. Let's get into it. All right, time for the tip off, and hopefully we can actually win this tip off, man, because it has been a long time since we actually have, and that's a pretty good start for us. You know what? Even better when you reward the big fella, Shaquille O'Neal for, for playing, man. And as I'm just saying, this is our all-time Cleveland Cavaliers lineup. Now, one downside that you can probably see right now is that we are very, very undersized, particularly at our one-two position. With that Kyrie Irving and that J.R. Smith, as his pink diamond Tracy McGrady just absolutely blows by us for that wide open dunk. So it's going to be a little bit uh, interesting to see exactly how it goes. But once again, when you do have the big fella inside the middle of the paint, man, we're going to reward him. Don't get an injury, Shaq. And do you know what's even better is when you do get the foul with that Shaquille O'Neal, he can actually shoot his free throw. Right, we just gave up an absolutely like easy transition in terms of that uh, on that defense. But yo, we do have that LeBron James open green light from the three-point land with a little bit of lag going on at the moment. I don't really understand why that's coming through. But so far, I feel like both teams are just shooting 100% from the floor right now. I am a little bit concerned, as I said, about our overall height particularly in our front court, or I should say our back court per se, considering that he does have that Kevin Love and that uh, pink diamond, Tracy McGrady, as he's going to get just the up and under, man. All right, we do come away with a little bit of luck in that situation, so I ain't even going to put that down. We do have Sean Kemp in the corner, man. He can shoot that three ball. Thank you very much. Yo, I feel like this game is just honestly going like bucket for bucket right now. We just need to actually continue to make some pretty good shots right now. Yo, that Tracy McGrady is playing hella good defense on us right now. Can we actually throw it down inside to the big fella? Take a nice little up and under right now. Get him reaching and how is Shaquille O'Neal missing? Come on, man. Our actual releases on some of these shots are just downright trash right now. So we need to make massive improvements. And these improvements need to be done pretty quickly or else this is going to be a long game for us as we just cannot play any defense right now. And this is not going our way at the start of it. You can see 
Our actual possessions are not the greatest, y'all. We do have J.R. Smith open from the top. He doesn't miss. Apparently, he does, man. We are just missing wide opens. This cannot afford to keep happening all game. Yo, we actually need to start making some easy transition buckets. We do have this Galaxy Opal, Sean Kent. I thought he was going to throw down. He does it that Hall of Fame posterizer. He does it in that situation, but we definitely needed a bucket just to try and get the ball rolling. I've also decided to call on my bench as well. So we're going to see the all-time Cleveland Cavaliers bench come out. It is going to be quite interesting to see exactly who steps up for us. As man, the fact is when Pink Diamond Dirk Nowitzki is throwing down shots, you know that you're in for some trouble. But we have J.R. Smith, man, open. He is open and he's missing. That is crazy. But Shaquille O'Neal's already grabbed his fifth rebound in this game. He is single-handedly keeping us in this uh, possession right now. So it's going to be interesting to see once he does go off, who's actually going to step up. Is it going to be that... Uh, it's going to be Big Z or someone else. Yo, how is Dirk Nowitzki making a heavily contested shot right now? That is crazy. Like, absolutely crazy. We're just going to throw it into the big fella once again. And he's activated takeover. He scored 11 points for us. So I just had to call my starters back in, man. Our bench unit is so undersized. We just honestly are not grabbing any rebounds right now. Our CPU isn't even playing off-ball defense. Like, we were just giving up so many offensive rebounds right now. Hopefully, we can actually get something going our way. There is already a massive mismatch. You can just see that Kyrie Irving up against the uh, the Dirk Nowitzki as how is he getting a simple reach in steal? Like, I know it's Shaquille O'Neal dribbling the ball, but you think, what are, the, what are the chances that he's going to get that? So, we need to just actually slow things down for us right now. We either need to get a simple bucket or hopefully actually can get an open shot three right now. Can we actually dribble the ball? Apparently so. We do have an open shot. I will take that, y'all. I, I, hands down. I know that we just got bailed out right there. So we have 15 and a half seconds to go, by the way. So I think what we're going to do is just we're just going to hold it for the last shot. See whether or not we can actually get a bucket going into the start of the fourth quarter. And then that way we can actually start off with a nice, pretty little lead. As, yo, we do have Shaquille O'Neal open. Mid-range, he ain't missing. Green light, there we go. That is the type of offense that we need. There is no way I'm going to be able to just defend against those ones. If he's launching them from, what, 40 feet out, can we actually get round? Is Pink Diamond LeBron James? No, we don't. As... Why are we turning the ball over off a pass? Like, seriously? How? Thank you. We actually do come away with that rebound. We're just going to take it straight in with Andrew Wiggins. Yes! That is what we need, man. We only have a lead of one so far. He's probably going to try and get either that open shot three, which we do play some pretty good defense. How is he just so easily getting around our center? Do not turn the ball over right now. Yo, if we turn this ball over once again, kick it in to Big Z. There you go, son. There you go. That is what we needed. We need to hold on to this lead. We need to stretch out this fourth quarter. Either go on a run. Just get some real easy shots. As once again, we are just giving away way too much open space. What is our bench doing? It's this off-ball CPU. We're just going in for weird double teams. Like, honestly, how can you keep... Oh, that's a beautiful dribble penetration shot. All right, so I got my starters back on. Yo, we're now down by two. Like, this is just ridiculous. But we're going to even this up right again with Shaquille O'Neal. He's been balling for us this game. Thank God, yo. We need to make a smart shot right now. We have Sean Kemp. Can he pop that in, son? What are you doing? You know what? In times like this, it's your boy who we're going to turn to right now. LeBron James, limited edition, and he misses. Yo, in a clutch situation, and he's missing. Like, is this really what 2K is going to give me right now? Yo, we should be able to even this back up. Hopefully, we do get a foul call. No, we don't. If we do take a look at the score right now, 68 all, that means if my opponent goes for a two for one option right now, he's gonna get another shot in less than, or basically the last shot of the game, but, oh man, how is, you know what, whatever. It's just honestly, whatever goes in right now, but clutch, hey, get him off the court, bro. In a clutch situation, you know who we're gonna turn to. We are gonna turn to our limited edition, LeBron James. This should be 
This should be an N1. Okay, yo, we were so close to that N1. It's time to make two or two free throws. This is clutch free throw right now. Can we actually make the second one? There is no way that he's missing that. With 17 seconds to go, can we get a stop right now? Yo, yo, can we actually get that steal, LeBron? You were so close, bro. You were so close. Yo, time is winding down. Time is winding down. We need, we need to actually play some pretty good defense. Yo, that's a stop. That's a stop. That's a stop. We're going to overtime. We do stop him at the end, man. Overtime. Going in their positions where they're meant to be. Yo, kick it down to Sean Kemp. We have LeBron James open. We're just going to take that nice little mid-range. All right, there you go. We're up by three. We just need to play some simple basketball. Play some Cleveland. Cavalier basketball. Yo, get back on defense. Please, Kyrie Irving. Do not give him any open shots right now. Look at that. He's right under the basket. He's getting a lot of these lucky rolls. Like, I know a lot of people are probably going to say, like, nah, like, don't, that's a good shot. But when he's under the basket and you can feel that contact on the defense, you know you're doing something right. Yo, we have J.R. Smith open in the corner. Son, how can we be missing all these clutch shots? And that's going in, man. All right, yo, we need to slow things down right now. Let's kick it to the GOAT, man. Kick it to the GOAT. A nice post-up mid-range, and we're missing... Again, this this game is is <laughs> causing so much stress and anxiety. Like, how are we missing some very easy shots? Might I add, he's going to kick that to Rudy Gobert. Yo, look at this mismatch that we already have right now. If he's going to get that inside, yo, play some good defense. Play some good defense, please. Grab that rebound. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I thought we were going to give away that steal for a second. I thought we were going to give away that steal. All right. We need it. We need to kick it. We need to kick it to LeBron, man. We're going to kick it to LeBron. He plays clutch, man. He's so used to these situations right now. He's so used to these situations. Oh, we just got him with the pump fake. There we go. That is a beautiful dribble move. We're up by two. This game is honestly going to come down to the wire. He could go for a two-for-one possession right now if he's either going to go for a mid-range or if he's going to look for an open shot three we do have a massive size disadvantage right now as you can see he's probably going to either kick it back out to rudy gobert and probably go into the post right now which is what we are trying to defend yo he could get this all right all right i see what's happening it is time to step up man lebron james in the clutch he's done this countless times for his Cleveland Cavaliers. Can he do it again right now? We're just gonna take that turn around. Mid shot and he buries it. That is what we need. That is what we need right now, y'all. 0.4 seconds to go, up by two, one defensive possession to go. All right, there is 0.4 seconds to go. I don't think he's gonna have enough time to get off a shot. He's probably gonna have to go for a tip in as we play pretty good defense at the end and we come away with that victory. Take a look at our box score, man. And Shaquille O'Neal had a hell of a game for the Cavaliers. He put up 19.7 rebounds. But this LeBron James, man, he pulled out clutch for us and he's the reason why we got this victory by two points, man. Clutch LBJ, he's the king for a reason. So here you go. Take a look at my all-time Cleveland Cavaliers lineup. Man, our bench was just severely <laughs> undersized in that game. We're coming up against six foot eight T Mac and six foot nine Carmelo Anthony. But man, this guy right here, this this LeBron James, the goat of Cleveland Cavaliers, maybe the goat of NBA, pulls out the victory. And that little card design you see right now is what he would be doing in celebration. Man, he gave us that victory. He put the team on his back in overtime, even to get us to overtime, man. Here's the real reason why we won this game today. So if you did enjoy this, smash that like button down below. If you are new to the channel as well, make sure you subscribe because I do want to keep bringing out some all-time lineups for every single NBA team. I don't know if I'm actually going to have enough time now, so maybe I'll just do it for the actual teams that are worthwhile to watch. Apologies to all those other NBA teams, but let's, let's be honest. Some of you don't have the best all-time lineups in 2K19, so we might just stick with the best ones. But yeah, I am your boy, Stadium 80. I definitely hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I just got a message from my opponent, so might take a look at it off camera. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We are looking to get to 2,000 subscribers. I need your help there. Go check out my last video, which was the all-time lineup for the Lakers. Outside of that, guys, I'll catch you all next time. See ya.